Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back inside the toy room. I'm John, and first I just want to say thank you so much for the outpouring of support for my family, my brother. So, as it turns out, my brother said he doesn't mind if I give the full details. I won't go into everything, but I mean, the basic gist is he has bladder cancer. They're going to remove the bladder. Something went wrong with the kidneys. One kidney completely died, and the second kidney is running about 30% or so. And uh, so he's on dialysis until that one good kidney recovers a little bit more. And he will have to have his bladder removed. And, yeah, it's it's terrible. It's terrible. It's just absolutely terrible. Um, but we are pulling through. My brother is home from the hospital. He has settled into his house. We are visiting him just about every single day. About every other day. Because he's about an hour and a half away from me. So we've been driving up there just about every other day to visit with him. And uh, just make sure he settles in and keeps comfortable and everything. And plus we're helping him take him to his appointments. He has appointments three times a week. And we're trying to help him by getting him to those appointments. And then our mom is picking him up from the appointments. Because usually they last three or four hours for the dialysis appointments. So we, draw, we, we hang out with him for the afternoon, then drop him off, and then my mother picks him up. And that's kind of the arrangement we're going to go with for quite a while here. So my status on the Pala Boys might be sparse, depending on uh, what day it falls on. Because we're doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday, taking him to his dialysis appointments. Which means I probably won't make a Friday Pala Boys for a long time. And Tuesday, Pala Boys, depends on my work schedule. If I got out of work in time, I'll be on Pala Boys Tuesdays. If I don't get done with work in time, I'm going to have to miss Tuesday as well. So for the next month or two, I will be hit and miss as to whether or not I will make it on Pala Boys. But you should watch Pala Boys. That shouldn't stop you from watching Pala Boys. Every Tuesday and Friday, 8 p.m. UK time, 3 p.m. Eastern U.S. time, and it lasts for about two hours, talking toys, talking Star Wars, talking all kinds of cool stuff. So don't miss it. Even if I'm not there, don't miss it. You want to hang out with Mark and Mark and Tez and Matt and everybody, because they're a bunch of cool guys. All right, so today we're going to take a look at Monopoly Star Wars The Mandalorian with this retro collection Remnant Stormtrooper. So let's get started. So we've been going through the box a little bit here. It kind of has that carbonite block style. Star Wars, defeat Imperial enemies and protect the child to win. You've got little tokens here for the credit chips. A nice colorful playboard. Cards that have characters with unique abilities. Travel with the child to keep it safe and use its mysterious powers in battle. Battle incinerators, stormtroopers, death troopers and moff gideon. And you've got all the play pieces here in brilliant colors. you got the heroes in silver, Baby Yoda in green, and then black, red, and gray for the Imperials. couple die. Go to StarWars.Hasbro.com to check out more. And it comes with all this stuff. You can pause it and read it if you want to see all the stuff it comes with. There you go. Pretty cool. This actually does look fun, and it's going to be something that my brother, my mom, and I actually play. So we will play this game. So the it has a slip case, and then you get the box here, which again looks like a carbonite block. Pretty cool. Top and bottom just have these little, you know, carbonite block bars on it. And the back just says Monopoly Star Wars. So yeah. Yeah. This is really cool though. I like the artwork and the design of this. Take the lid off and you got this inside. All the player pieces fit into these little slots. Let's pop Yoda out here and take a look at him. He's actually a hefty metal. It's pretty heavy. So they are a quality piece of metal and then painted 
in the proper color. And the detail's not bad. I can actually see his face and everything. Yeah, not too bad at all. It's a, it's a, it's a real metal thing. It's pretty cool. I'm trying to make it ding or whatever, but it's not really... The paint coating on it is making it so they don't really ding together. Ding, ding, you know. Ding, ding, ding. Mandalorian himself looking all shiny and awesome. Yeah, each of these are really nice metal pieces. They are really well done. They're, they're quality, really nice quality pieces. I'm going to get them all out to save time. We'll line them up here, get a good look at them. Cara Dune. Nice rendition of Cara Dune. Look at that, even all the little hair, the stuff on her armor. It's a, it's a nice little detailed bust of the figure, of the character, you know? Quill here. Oh, I miss Quill. He looks so good. Cool figure. And IG-11. And then we have the Stormtrooper. I guess technically it's an Incinerator Stormtrooper. Even has a 011 in the back. Nice, nice, nice. A Death Trooper. Looking good. Even has a little red dot on the on the uh, thing. They did they didn't just do straight plain black. They put a little red dot on there. Neat. And Moff Gideon. Not bad. I like that the pieces are actually metal. They're really high quality. Really well done in my opinion. So, this game just arrived out of the blue. I did not order it. But it, I did not get any directive from Hasbro saying they sent me it. So, um, the address does say Hasbro Pulse on it. So it did come from Hasbro Pulse. But I, I didn't order it. So, and they usually don't come from Hasbro Pulse if you get it free from Hasbro directly. So I'm a little confused. Maybe someone else bought this for me through Hasbro Pulse and had it mailed to me. One of you fans out there? And if so, let me know, because you deserve credit. Because now that I have it, I do like it. I think this is around $50, the game, $49.99 if it's re on retail. And you get a figure with it, of course. But um, now that I have the game, I'm definitely going to play it. I do like this thing. I think it's a really cool version of Monopoly. Because you're going to have battles, as you can see here, like the Death Trooper cards. And what's cool is each card has different pictures, different art. You know, the Incinerator Trooper, Moff Gideon. Another Incinerator Trooper with a different artwork, different picture. So that's pretty cool. you got duplicate cards, but you're going to have different images on each one. So it's like you're fighting a different character, a different death trooper or a different incinerator trooper and then there's one card from off gideon of course and the artwork on these cards is phenomenal i'm sure you can agree <laughs> taken right from the show right from the action in the show looks really cool and you have two die here a green one and a silver one best scar die and a green die for yoda pack of cards that's where you're going to have all your We'll go through those in a minute. I'll open that up. But you're going to have your properties, and then I think there's going to be some character and battle cards in there. And the credit chips. 10 credits and 50 credits. We'll get that open here. Let's open that up. 10 credits are made of copper, like a brownish color. They're plastic. They are not metal. And 50 credits are these gold ones. So you have 10 credit increments and 50 credit increments. And I did open the cards here, so let's take a look. The Public House. The Armor's Workshop. Pretty cool. And I just noticed these have the photos on the back as well. Armor's Workshop. You may sell this hideout back to the bank at any time. 
Huh. Arvala 7 Jawa Camp. And yeah, you got the picture on the back. The Mudhorn Cave. Nikto Encampment. A Vapor Ranch. A Sorgan Forest. Klaatuian Wicklip. Wiki up. Wiki up? Okay. The Village. A Common House. Tatooine Dune Sea. The Sniper's Nest. So it looks like all the properties just have two instead of some having three. Most likely Cantina. That's cool. Nice image there. Hangar 3 5. The Navarro Lava Field. The Imperial Safe House. Oh, and now we're getting into the character cards. The one for the Mandalorian. And on the back, those have. Oh, a big picture of the Mandalorian. Cool. Cara Dune. With a big picture of Cara Dune on the back. IG-11. Cool. And Queel. Here we go. Look at that. He looks great. Oh, I miss Queel. Too bad he died. Oh, I miss him. And the child. Come on, baby. Do the magic hands thing. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And now we have Imperial Threat. So you're going to basically move these guys around and fight them. And they have the generic backing. So these are the random cards you're going to draw when you land on Chance or something like that, you know. This is the way. Well, that's pretty powerful. Receive your bounty. That's like... Uh, you received a payday or whatever, remember? Strike a deal. It's a good card, too. Neat. Another strike a deal. So, yeah, some of these are going to be multiples. Double cross. Oh, that's funny. That's a good one. A couple of those. And then you have... Locate the asset. You get to take the baby child with you. So the the child comes with you in the game and you get child powers. So you could use his card as well. And there's four of those in the pack. Whistling birds. Nice. That's cool. To help you fight the bad guys. Looks like there's going to be four of those as well. Neat. So the child will be switching hands pretty often, probably. Armor upgrade. There's the armorer. That's cool. She made it in. Of course, she was. they had armorer's hideout, too, so they, she made it in twice, I guess. But that's cool that they have her picture on that one. And then the figure is underneath the entire packaging here which is pretty cool and it's kept safe and secure a safe and secure action figure <laughs> nice it's really packed in there well the card's not going to get damaged the bubble's not going to get damaged they did a good job protecting this and uh, let's take a look at the figure. But first, I just realized we didn't take a look at the game board itself. So we're going to look at the figure in just a second as we look through this game board here. The game board is very colorful. Like I said, it looks like every property has two. So the, some of the ones that in normal Monopoly have three spaces are just reduced down to two. Like the orange and red and things like that. So every group of properties just has two. It doesn't look like you're going to be putting hotels or other things on these. Because um, there was no hotel or house chips, you know? So it's just straight owning the properties. It's kind of, it must be like a, 
a quicker version of Monopoly. Maybe I'll do a report once my mother, my brother, and I play this. One of the times when we go up to visit, I'll bring this with me and we'll all we'll play it. And uh, my mom likes board games as well, and I can get my brother to play. So we'll check this thing out. $20 side. So they're all, yeah, so it's the cheapest are the $10 ones, and a whole side is $10. So it's not like it goes 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, up to 100. So you have 10, 20, and then you have a $50 side for the expensive ones. Oh, forty dollars on the green ones. Okay, so they do kind of increment. But let's look at the figure now. Star Wars: The Mandalorian Retro Collection figure. This is exclusive. It's a remnant stormtrooper, exclusive to this game set. And now that I have it, I do kind of want another one so I can <laughs> number one peel the sticker off, and number two maybe even open one of these. I don't know. I'm not going to open this one, and I'm not going to peel the sticker off, because this very well could be the only one I ever get. And I want to keep it as mint as possible. i got to get a star case for this or something. But I love that image on the front. The Remnant Stormtrooper image is really cool. The back of the packaging here. And it says the Star Wars Retro Collection is inspired... By 1980s Star Wars figures and features original figure design and detailing to continue your collection from a galaxy far, far away. Remnant Stormtrooper, The Mandalorian, Cara Dune, IG-11, Queel, The Child, Moff Gideon, and Grief Karga is the next wave of retro collection. And I don't think they're coming out till 2021. That's the other thing that baffles me with this set and why I have it right now. I didn't think this was coming out until late in 2021. Well, mid... I guess April, May of 2021. But it got sent to me now, mysteriously. Here he is, the Remnant Stormtrooper next to the original Stormtrooper. And you can see how they just dirtied him up a little bit. But he is the, he is, he is the exact same figure. So this is the same figure as the Stormtrooper they already put out in the Retro Wave. It's just that now he's dirtied up a bit. But he does look pretty good being dirtied up. I like it. Well, guys, I think that's about it. We're coming up on, you know, almost getting into 20 minutes here. So I think I'm going to stop. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much again for all the well wishes towards my brother and my family. I have passed along all the cards. People have sent cards to the house. People have sent flowers. People have DM'd me online and talked online on Twitter and everything, and I have passed along all of the outpouring of support. I brought all the cards over, brought him the flowers. I mean, you guys in the community have, have just gone above and beyond with your well wishes and your thoughts towards my brother. And, uh, I mean, him and I appreciate it so much. He told me the other day... He just could not believe the outpouring of love and support that's coming from people he doesn't even know. They're friends of mine, and he doesn't know them. And he was just like, why are people I don't even know sending me cards? And, and You know, it, it was like, but he loved it. He thought it was the greatest gift that he could receive uh, at a time like this. And um, you guys have just been fantastic. Uh, I just can't thank you enough. And, and he as well, so... All right, guys, there we go. The Mandalorian Star Wars Monopoly board game with the Remnant Stormtrooper Retro Collection figure. And uh, if all goes well, I should be back on track to doing videos just about every other day or so. So thank you so much for continuing to hang in there and uh, stick with the channel. I appreciate it so much. May the Force be with you, and we'll talk to you guys later.